Good morning. It's a lovely, cold, wet, rainy day. And you know the best thing to do right now? Pull the transmission on the Jeep. Yep, round seven, here we go. It is uh, hemorrhaging fluid. It needs to come out again. Theoretically, I got a transmission coming in the next couple days. And it's only gonna get wetter. It's only gonna rain more. So might as well get her done. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. Cause I'm doing this in a tent shelter and the white gravel. Oh gee, thanks Willow. I really wanted you in there. Now let's get this moved over. See this big old dent right here? Oh, that was Gearworks. That was the transmission shop that quote unquote did this work for me. Uh, they also did this and that. They bent my exhaust pipe up nice and good. Uh, and there is also a dent right there. Nice big forklift mark right there on the tailgate. So they kissed this thing pretty good. Really appreciate that. Oh, you can tell she's leaking. Just hemorrhaging hydraulic or uh, gear oil right out the back. You can see it up there in the tunnel. Oh, but this is what we're going to start with. We're going to start with this rear drive shaft. added a coat and my insulated coveralls on and check the temperature. Anybody want to guess what temperature it is? 43 degrees. This is the thing I love about Western Oregon is it never gets quite cold enough to just freeze. It's always just cold enough to be really wet and really cold. It's a lot easier to uh, stay uh, warm when you're dry and uh, that's a lot easier when everything is frozen. Back to it. Now I gotta dra drop the skid pan next.
Yep, that was a mess. Oh, no. I was taking the uh, drain pan plug out. It dropped neatly into the funnel. Plug in the funnel. Oh, Got to get this all cleaned up. I guess I'm going to get some more fluid. We're going to find out. Ah, done. Cancel case removed. Broke loose, but shipped. That's the uh, evil, evil, evil reverse Torx and reverse Torx socket. All right, every time you uh, change things, you want to rotate your fan like this, and you want to make sure that you're not impacting your uh, fan shroud. Because if you start dropping the engine too much or moving things around, you can hit this and you can break this. And you don't want to break this because this is what keeps all the air going in the right direction around your radiator up here. out one of my concerns about where some of the leaks were coming from we were in here but it looks pretty dry it's wet from some water running down inside the engine ah, that's another issue for another day but everything in here looks good <laughs> yeah you can see that crack right there one way or another I don't trust this thing So one of the goals I've got while well, I got the transmission out is to clean this transmission tunnel up and put some DEI tunnel shield heat and sound barrier in it. And this thing has got a kind of a pish coat of bed liner on it. So I'm going to do my best to scrape that and all the oil from months of hemorrhaging rear main seals and transmission leaks off and get this uh, transmission tunnel to a point where I can glue some stuff down on it. This is going to take hours, but it's going to be the job that's got to get done. <laughs>
delivered almost a week after the promised date. This little bad boy is going straight in. Shifter tower needs to come off. I need to get the bell housing on. And this puppy's going in. We have a transmission. Try to me.
take it. Well, I have absolutely no luck on this thing. She ain't charging. It just started to squeal and uh, the voltage light went to zero, which basically means uh, one dead alternator. Three seconds away from just finishing fixing a what, four month transmission debacle and uh, yeah. Now I get to uh, take apart the uh, drive, the belt drive again and uh, change out the alternator. Can't win for trying.